Hey guys, it's Luke from FLC Productions, and today I'm going to be talking about Pages 09. Pages 09 is a substitute for Word for Mac. It comes with iWork 09, a bundle which includes Pages 09, Keynote 09, and Numbers 09. Let's launch Pages 09. When you launch it, you'll get this template chooser. If you don't want to have template chooser and just have it go to straight to a document, go to Pages, Preferences, then here, just use Use Template, and then you can hit Choose, and then choose the template. So I'm going to select Blank and hit Choose. But for now, I'm just going to keep it as Show Template Chooser. So when you have this Template Chooser, you have the options of quite a few things. At the bottom, you have Open Recent, and you can open all those files, or open existing, existing file, and it'll switch over to this little Template Chooser. And hit cancel and I in here I'm just going to show you all the templates that they have here you have blank blank and blank landscape letters they have all these pre-typed letters except it's for example if I open one up all it is is mumbo jumbo and it just has this stuff just for they, they just have it for just so you can fill in the information. So let me go back. On the envelopes, they have all these envelopes to choose from. These forms to choose from. Resume, reports, outlines, which I'll show you in just a second. Miscellaneous, a page layout, which is, uh, again, blank canvas. Then newsletters, brochures flyers, posters, card invitations, business cards, certificates, and miscellaneous. So let me go into blank and choose that. Okay, now going from the top up here, here you have the option to hit view, view and then page thumbnail. So you have a thumbnail of a page. If I start typing, you can see closely, if you look closely, there's a little bit of text typed in there. So let me just delete that. Here you have full screen, which so if I what so I say I have oops say if I have a whole bunch of stuff opened in the background and it's just bothering you and you just want to be able to concentrate on what you're writing, you hit the full screen button and it will go into full screen and you have the option to type your essay with nothing in the background. To get out of this, all you have to do is hit escape on your keyboard. And here you have your outline, which I will be going over right now. If you go to File, New, and then you go down to, where is it, Outlines, and you select an outline, this button comes up, and you can, and basically, you can make an outline, I guess, for um, your for whatever you're like writing. Um, I guess it's handy. I just, I haven't really used it. But if you want to, the feature's there. Okay, here is selections. Uh, you can um, test, you can have the page that you're already on or make a new page, which would come up in your thumbnails right here. You have text box, which you can type in your text. Let's say, uh, Hi, this is Luke from FLC Productions. Oops. So I'm just going to keep that there. Now I will show you something just in a second. We'll keep that text. Here you have shapes, which you have all these options. You have, for example, let's have a star. Put that there. Points. You can make as many points as you want. Uh, anywhere from a triangle to a that type of star. I really don't know what that type of star is called. And then to all those triangles. So it just has a lot of little features that you don't usually see in a word processing uh, word processor. Here you have your table. You create a new table. I'll bring that over here. You can type whatever you want. So you are doing a science class and you say test one. Test one, uh, test 
two is three. And basically you could say like 10 seconds, 10.5, 10 point, six, and then like 10.5. You get, you get what I'm saying? Like, you can just do a lot of stuff really easily with this table, and it's really fast and easy, again, to do. Here you have charts, which you can easily make a chart. So here, your chart will come up, and it's a 3D chart. And here you have this little feature to move around your chart and from what angle you want to see it at. See it from a down angle, a top angle, and as you can see, the lighting changes. So basically, again, just click this and drag. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to move that down here and exit out of that little 3D chart thing. Okay. Here we have comment. So say you want to make a little comment about um, the chart. Say needs more detail or something so you can do that with that do that there I'll close out that here you have send to iwork.com I'll explain this later basically you can just upload uh, your file to iwork.com so anybody can download it although your files are secure so you have no worry about that um, inspector um, basically that little icon there you can change everything and I will be going doing a video about that in the future too um, here you have media which you can import a lot of things for example if I scroll down I can find a photo that I want to use um, uh, okay here's a good one Here's these puppies that lived in our backyard when I lived in Chile, and they were born in our backyard, and we took care of them. So yeah, pretty cute. So I'm gonna delete the, that photo. Okay, and here you have colors and all of that, and here's what I wanted to talk about: how to fonts, basically how to like edit the color of your photo and the font. Hit fonts, and basically. Let's say I want English and I want Optima, which I can, oh, actually, it should be down here. There it is. And I want bold. And I want, let's say I want it to be uh, size 72. Actually, it's pretty big. Let's do 24. It's pretty good. Um, and let's pull, oops. Um, that looks pretty good. And just one more thing, if you ever want to be able to close your documents without hitting, without just going up to this button right here, hit Command W on your keyboard in between Q and E, Command W, and you can close out your document. So let's hit Don't Save. So basically, that is my tutorial for you today. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you want more of these tutorials, comment below. Or visit my website, youthintosh.com. Um, and my Twitter is twitter.com slash FLC Productions. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.